Hi, and welcome to my monthly reading where I'm going to tell you all about your month. This is a pick a card reading. I have three decks of cards. I have the Rider Waite, which is the old standard, the Steampunk Tarot, and the Medieval Scapini Tarot. And so pick your deck and go to the timestamp in the comments to see your reading for the month and be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell and turn on notifications to be notified of all upcoming readings. So stay tuned for your reading. All right, did you pick your deck? We have the Rider Weight, the Steampunk, and the Medieval Scapini. So first, we're going to start with the Rider Weight. So let's see, let's see what this month has in store. I hope you guys are doing well. If you join my Patreon, you get early access to all of my full length videos. And that's really the way to go. And I answer questions to my special patrons. So you can check out the link in the comments to, uh, to join my Patreon today. So let's see here. Let's see what these cards have to say about what's coming up for your month. So, all right, Page of Swords crossed by the Page of Pentacles. Weird month of communication. It's like you're kind of, you might be trying to talk to somebody who's not talking to you. You might be checking up on them behind their back and really hoping for some sort of a, for some sort of a message. And uh, I don't have a too big of a field of vision, but let's see here. So it seems as if you really want happiness in your family like you want you want a stable life but it seems as if um you know this person is somebody that that you had great feelings for let me see here let me put down these cards it's kind of a mess okay we will clear this up so, all right, it seems as if as if you may be kind of stalking somebody and there is somebody in your life that you may have been obsessed with. It seems as if you may be kind of stuck on somebody that's from your past and uh, this may have been some sort of a physical connection and you guys may have sexted, but I feel like this person is distant and that they're not being exactly... Um, accurate with you you know they're not being they're not being honest they're not coming to town and so sometimes this knight of pentacles can indicate that you saw the last of them that that you may not that you may not see them and so you may be kind of look checking up on them and and waiting for them and and trying to see when they'll reach out to you and you may be hoping for some sort of a message and see they may message you every now and then and kind of um you know, give you a vibe of like, well, maybe they're thinking about me and maybe that means they'll want to see me. But I feel like, I feel like it's really back and forth. You know, it seems as if, as if there was a connection here and you probably attached to them, but I think it's kind of this back and forth connection. It's kind of on and off and, you know, they message you sometimes, but they don't message you all the time. And that's the problem is they're not messaging you all of the time and uh, and so i'm seeing that you break that you break free from uh, this toxic connection you get the seven of swords which this person is kind of the thief you know it's they're in the distance you get this devil card so so there's you know they're they're kind of into the physical and they're not so much into the emotional connections. And so I think that, that this person steals away and that you move on and that this month is, is a month of moving on and of acceptance. You get this two of swords and this two of swords is like, well, you kind of worry about, about everything that's going on, but, but you don't have any options. You know, you can't force this person to see you, to try and to make a difference. And, um, I don't think you can force this person to do what you want them to do. And, um, and that's kind of where you're left. But 
there, there's an interesting time coming because there is a time of love. This is springtime, you know, this is springtime. Like, like love is coming and love is in your environment. Love is showing up to where, to where there's something new coming in, in your life. And there's new people showing up that are in your house. They're, they're around you. You know, there's, there's love. And it says that, that you're scared it says that you're scared of just people walking away and from getting into relationships that are inconsistent and people bail and you know it's just scared scared of of losing connections with people and and that's okay but you know connections come and connections go you know and and we have to bless the connections as they come and bless them as they leave you know it's like ships passing in the night we are all these big ships on this ocean and we come across all many different ships you know and 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 some stick around and some give us supplies and then some move on their way and and most move on their way and the people that we end up in life you know it, it tends to be a kind of a small number and so if you are experiencing a loss in love and trying to make something work with someone who is distant you know just know that this is just a natural part of life of people figuring out what they want and then keeping on their own path and looking for whatever the next best thing is you know you can't really fault these people for why they're behaving the way they're behaving we just have to let them go you know because they are more into themselves than they're into you you know and so so this isn't so this isn't a situation about you it's a situation about them so now it says here now this is interesting these are your last two cards so you got the two of wands and the nine of cups i'm trying to think what does this mean this is kind of this is this looks like this looks like you're making some plans the two of wands is really like a planning card and the nine of cups though the nine of cups could be like making plans and not following through with those plans and and so but it's making lots and lots of plans and good ideas and i think you're going to see some changes with the world and uh and things things are going to be looking pretty optimistic I mean, this this card is very, very optimistic. It's a very good time. Um, I would just take it, take it as that. You know, sometimes it means, you know, just kind of, you know, getting happy and eating and and having a good time. But there may be some holidays coming up, or who knows? And and so I don't know. Some people may be maybe kind of stuffing themselves and getting full and happy and and enjoying life and kind of making some plans of well what can you do you know what what would you do you know what would you do if all of a sudden you can go out and play and enjoy your life you know what what would you do would you go see a movie what what would you do i feel like you start thinking about the things that that you want to do upcoming and um yeah and you just get really full on life and so i see some love coming and i just kind of want to see draw some more cards um these cards are really indicating that that this past relationship that that you want it's these cards are super dark so this is saying yeah that they lost the feelings and that they cut it off and that they just don't really have a good comp opinion and that the situation ended. And so right now the situation is they're kind of stringing you along and, um, and they're not interested and they may be kind of cruel. So, um, this is a real avoidant type, somebody that's like running away from you. And so, Ooh boy. Yeah. This is the situation of you got to let this guy go because, because I think this person is going to say something that is, is going to indicate the end of the situation. So some sort of an end is coming, but this it's going to lead to you meeting more people. There's, you know, people are going out, they're playing sports, they're living their life. And it, and they're wanting to meet new people too because they're kind of sick of all of the people that they've just been, you know, at home with for the last year or whatever. So I think somebody really sweet is going to enter into your life. 
but you have to accept the passing of this other person. And as soon as you can allow this tower to come into your life and clear the path of and clear the way of like this nasty, toxic person, as soon as you can let that happen, you can allow this person to come in, you know, because this person is blocking this person and we want this person to come in. So make some plans for this month. You know, get get some ideas of places to go and of of things to of sights to see. You know, make make some good plans for this month because I think that there's somebody there that's like right around the corner. And I don't know, I, I, I don't think that, that you can quite miss it. So I I have this um spark magic, just like this little kind of ritual thing. So let me draw a match and see what it says. Okay, ask a question and listen to your intuition for the answer. Okay, maybe I should ask again. So maybe you should check out getting some cards and, and working with your intuition this month. You know, try drawing cards of the day. You know, try drawing some sort of an oracle for the day. And then it says, write out all your wishes for the next year. So, all right, you guys. So that's reading number one. Now we're going to get to the second reading. Let me put these cards aside. The second reading is with the Steampunk Tarot. The Steampunk Tarot. I'm going to take a sip of beverage before I begin this reading. If you're watching this video and you like it, be sure to like and subscribe and to hit the bell and turn on notifications to be notified of all upcoming readings that I do. I like to do readings all throughout the month surrounding work and love, and I want to tell your future. So if you want to see more readings like this, absolutely tell me in the comments what you want to know. And uh, stay tuned for my next reading. Ooh, the cards are already popping out. The star, the sun, the sun, eight of cups. It's like leaving something. And, uh, you know, it's, it's leaving a dark time and entering a time of light. And I really feel that. I really feel like some times of, of sadness and sorrow and withdrawing are over. You know, I feel like, I feel like this... This is a good time that we're we're leaving something and we're entering in a new future. So your first card is the star. That's so beautiful. The star crossed by the strength card. This is this is just a really good month for like um self-esteem. Self-esteem. Jeez, the star crossed by strength. Look at this. This is just accepting that you're beautiful and uh, just accepting the the power of of your presence and uh the star the strength card that's just i i heard something the other day that just was so profound to me and it said that you know for self esteem is to understand that we are you know when you remove all um when you remove when you remove all negativity, all that is left is the mind of the ultimate supreme power of the universe. And so, and so in the center of your mind is this amazing power. And, um, and so if you, if you identify with this power, this power of the Holy Spirit, whatever you want to call God, you know, is at the center of your mind. And if you are willing to accept that and understand it, you know, and embrace it, then how could you have low self-esteem when it, when it, your basic, your basic um, self is, is the almighty universe? I mean, that's amazing. So I don't know. I see that, that you, you embody this, this perfect, expression of whatever your God is. And I think you bring it out this month. So this is interesting. This, this reading is kind of similar to the last reading. You know, it talks about justice with the Knight of Pentacles. It's cutting it off from somebody who's been distant, 
It's just somebody's just, and it seems like somebody needs to hear this message. Like they're having a real problem with someone. And this looks like that this person may have been some sort of a friend. This seems like you may have gotten a friend. There, there may be a team that, you know, a group of friends, people hanging out and, um, you guys can check out my Instagram and join um, a, my giveaway and win, possibly win a free 30 minute FaceTime reading. So, uh, so yeah, you get this page of wands, five of wands, which seems like it's like a friend through a group of friends. This is like, you know, people playing sports, people going to the gym, people going to concerts. You know, this is, this is like getting some sort of a new friend. But it seems like it seems like you are respecting yourself that you're coming into this personal power and that you might not accept the offers of someone who is kind of distant. But also, I think in in another respect, you may be distant as well. You know, you may be pushing people off. Um, it seems as if as if you are expecting somebody to to have a control over you. You may be expecting someone in your life and you do get all of these people. You get like the king. Oh, you get the king of swords in your environment and the nine of pentacles, which seems like, which seems like you spend some nice time at home and, you know, like decorating your house or something. And it seems like this person comes over. It, it's the king of swords. So there's someone that is, that is serious in your life that, that wants to reach out to you. Um, but I don't like these cards that are in the near future. You get the ace of wands, which is all kinds of new opportunities. This is like, this is like you get something, you buy something, you you um, you come home with some sort of a new prize. So so you might get some sort of a some sort of a new goodie this month. Um, but this other guy, I just don't feel like you can trust him, and I just you just aren't hearing from this person, and um, and when you're not hearing from them, that's because they're not reaching out to you. And so this is the thief. This person is, you know, is kind of, is kind of, um, taking from you a little bit. And, um, and so, so I just, I just kind of warn you of this, but I feel like a couple of things are going on in your life. I feel like, I feel like you may be suffering a little bit with some sort of a relationship, but then you have this new thing going on and, and, and just this new opportunity arising. And so, and so this is, and, and I feel like this thief is kind of stealing some of your excitement for this new thing, you know, it's, um, and so, so you may be focused on somebody that, that may be really distant. I don't know how serious this, this thing was. It looks like, it looks like this person who you're distant from was maybe some sort of a friend that, that they never intended on being a relationship. But of course it's different for everyone. I just feel like, I just feel like you cut it, you cut it off with someone. And, uh, and so, but I kind of wonder how much, how much is it with you with how much, how much are you like, um, avoiding, avoiding love? Because I think there is somebody that's in your life that, that you may, that you may be, um, kind of turning away from a little bit. Oh, there's a car alarm outside. And, uh, and so it seems like you get, um, it's very strange. These cards are very similar to, to the last reading. It's odd. Wasn't the last reading ended with the two of wands as well, which I think is kind of strange. This is like making plans, but the seven of pentacles is not, is, is spending time focusing on those plans and not executing them. But it, it's almost time to come back out. I think life is going to explode and there's going to be um, and there's going to be beauty and life is going to be erupting at any moment and all kinds of new plans and new opportunities are coming. But, you know, this planning and making new plans, um, this may be you like planning to try to start talking to new people, like planning to 
get online or planning and it and so and so some stuff may not move forward because you're stuck in the planning stage like maybe tomorrow I'll I'll you know set out to meet someone new and so so you might be a little bit stuck and um but planning is also good you know and uh but you may be wanting this person from your past to to reconnect and you know and I really think you should you should try to think of other ways that you can meet other people. But then you might you might want to take some time off as well. And so let me just see here. Let me throw some extra cards. Oh, it says that there's some loss. And then it says, this is interesting, the Eight of Wands. You meet a bunch of people who are single. So the Eight of Wands are the arrows of love. And so the arrows of love normally means that there's several opportunities. It's not just one. And the high priestess is that uh, you might even get a little obsessed. So if you go online, you might get a little bit crazy like it's a video game because so many people are talking to you and are trying to connect with you. You might get a little crazy with it. And and so you get the page of cups, so which is which is talking to a new romance. So all I have to say about that is um, maybe get out of the planning stage and do something and figure out figure out your profile and update it and take off all the super sexy pics and you know put your put yourself out there because I think once you put yourself out there that this new love enters your life. And so I do see this other guy kind of coming over and, and being serious, but I feel like you might kind of turn away from, from this one guy. You get the queen of swords, king of swords. So yeah, it seems like there's somebody kind of might hit you up and then, it, and then you're like, not so fast, buddy. And you push him away, but you might go out on a little bit of a date. They may come over and you might hang out. A little bit so so stay tuned I think I think this is not going to be a lonely month I don't think this is going to be a lonely month I think this is going to be a month with some people in it and I think I think you're going to do some stuff at home and really enjoy your house it seems like you might like rearrange your bedroom or that sounds nice I kind of want to rearrange my bedroom so let's see I'll, I'll draw one more card and then I want to give you a matchstick like a little exercise to do it. So one more card, Queen of Swords. Hmm, set a goal. Yeah, declare, declare what you want and then go after it. So let's see here, what does this say? Daydream about a pilgrimage you might enjoy taking. <laughs> That's totally what it is. Like, like think about, Think about where you want to go. You know, it's these making plans. I think I, all of us, we all need to start making plans. Like, where where do you want to go? I don't know. I'm seeing all these movie theaters are opening up and, you know, all of these things are opening up. And uh, so it's just so exciting. All right. Now we're going to the third reading. And so the third reading is with the Medieval Scapini deck. And so I want to see what your future has to say if you chose this deck. So this field of vision, this top-down camera, it doesn't have too big of a field of vision. So hopefully you're able to see the cards okay. Let's see here. Oh, Six of Swords. Hmm. Six of Swords can sometimes mean some sort of a move can mean or or like or like some sort of a change with a relationship where like moving forward with someone so let's see let's see what these cards have to say let's see what these cards have to say i hope you're enjoying this video if you're enjoying this video give it a like and subscribe and turn on the bell and turn on the notifications to be notified of new videos coming up okay putting out some cards here and seeing what's going on. Mm, Knight of Swords, you may be talking to someone a little bit inconsistent, a little bit inconsistent. Someone, you might be going back and forth with someone. Uh, it looks like, 
it looks like there's this person in the past that you may have walked away from. So I don't know how long ago you got rid of that connection, but it seems like there was someone that, I mean, they were pretty cool and stuff, but it, I don't know, you may have some time, you may have some time alone, you may have some time of distance and are just kind of focused on pulling together some money and pulling together um, some, some life, some life situation, you know, just taking care of what needs to be taken care of. Now you get this seven of cups, a seven of cups, knight of swords. The seven of cups can, is sometimes my online dating card. This is sometimes talking to people virtually, you know, talking to people on discord or on Instagram or, you know, or on okay Cupid or hinge. The seven of cups is is really getting into like some sort of an online romance, but you may be with someone who is, mm, I don't know, I don't know how nice this person is. He's kind of, he, he rushes in though. He's like rushing in and, and he's wanting to get stuff done. And, and so you may need to be a little cautious of this fast moving individual. Uh, I guess this person is like really rushing in and, and so I don't know how much you necessarily want to trust this person because this person may like all of a sudden like just switch on you and change and you're like, dude, what's up? So, all right. So you get the, the queen of coins and the two of swords in the near future. So this is a monthly reading. So, so this must have something to do with this this month. So the queen of coins is somebody who is working and who, who is dealing with um, finances. They're, they're doing a good job at work, but this person also takes care of everybody. So you may have plans that you're having to take care of, you know, this, this month, you may have to be a good daughter, a good son, you know, a good family member. You may, there may be all kinds of shit that you just have to resolve and, um, and you probably have to feed everybody. So you may be a little bit busy, like saving the world, saving the world this month. And this two of swords is like kind of putting one foot in front of an, of, in front of the other and not having too many, how can I say, you just kind of float. You don't, you just act and, and you're kind of told what, what you need to do. You know, your next steps are obvious and, and it, it's kind of like, it's kind of like acting without thinking. Like you're just sort of busy. And so you just float from one activity to the next and are really in harmony, but it doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem like you think too much about it. It's like you don't have choices. You don't have to worry about it. You just flow from one activity to the next. I think you're going to be busy taking care of everybody, which is kind of insane. Um, but with, with this, with this person you're talking to, I'm not getting the best cards. Uh, and, and so, so you may be, you know, entertaining the affections of someone who is, you know, they may be talking to you and rushing in, but I feel like you may still be in a single state of mind and are still looking for somebody who is honest and who is true. And so I don't know how much you can really trust this knight of swords. And so, um, and so you get the hanged man in your environment, which is, you know, this is still spending time at home and not going out, but it's not seeing this other person. It's like they may try to get to see you and you may push them off and say, no, not right now, not tomorrow, uh, not the next week either. Like, like you're kind of waiting. And so this, and this person may be waiting to see you and you may be pushing them off and kind of waiting for something. It says, it says that you're scared you're scared of like falling for someone in a way and and you may be scared of your attachment system of you know when when you fall for someone and and they don't give you what you want or they're mean to you and then you just feel bad it's just inside you just you just start obsessing and pining and and you can't focus and it seems like you're scared of falling for people and getting this attachment and then not getting your needs met and and so you may be getting entertained by by this person who kind of activates you and um and then and then they play a little bit of a game and they push you away and then and then you're just worried about feeling bad and um, and so 
you know, I don't know. It says that. Yeah. I just, I just think that you're worried about the people you meet and, and, uh, and that you just expect that people are going to, um, just not give you what you give them. And you may spend a lot of time in your life feeling like you're putting in all this extra work and they're not giving you anything back. And, and that's almost like, like what you're doing at home too. You know, it seems like this month you're just like really busy taking care of everybody and taking care of everybody's problems and making sure every, and making sure everybody's okay. And then you kind of feel like, but Hey, who's taking care of me? Like, like I'm, I'm spending all this energy making sure everybody's okay, but who's taking care of me? So it says, I feel like this month you're kind of going back and forth with someone and it's, and it's really inconsistent, but there may be somebody around. And I think that, that you're like super focused on, on your family and on, on your work and, and just this other, and just this other person is, is kind of inconsistent, but they might be there. You might have sort of like a, a fantasy relationship going on with them to, to kind of be a space holder until somebody real comes into your life, if that makes any sense. You know, so you may be kind of going back and forth with someone who's a little bit virtual and kind of talking, maybe having like little arguments, you know, without even meeting or something, you know, kind of going back and forth um, in, a, in a virtual way with someone. And while you are just like taking care of everything at home, I want to throw down some extra cards. Oh, you get the judgment, the empress. So and and the chariot. So this guy... I don't think you can trust this guy. I don't think you can trust this guy. You may think that, oh, he's saying all of the right things and, and he may, he may try to make some sort of a move on you, but I'm getting the seven of swords. So I don't know about this knight of swords. I feel like this is like kind of an avoidant guy who he comes in really fast. He sweeps you off your feet. He tells you you're perfect and you think, oh my God, I love him. And, and then you find out he's, he said that to three other girls this week. And so oh, just beware, beware of these people who are like overly eager to get to know you because it, I just don't, I just don't think that, um, you, relationships start off a little bit slower, you know, I mean, people fall in love, they fall in love, but I think that, um, you know, just beware of somebody who starts up really quickly and automatically says that they love you and they want to be with you forever. You know, I would just be cautious, just be cautious. So, uh, yeah, you're getting money cards though. So a money issue is resolved. You might get some money from family. Uh, you may, you may decide to start some sort of a, some sort of an education and you may text an old friend. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned. I feel like you leave this guy behind and uh, you might start talking to somebody new. So one thing at a time, one thing at a time, there might be somebody a lot sweeter, a little bit slower, kind of goofier coming, coming in. And, uh, and so, so maybe, I don't know if, if you're going to be doing a lot of celebrating this month, but you might be hanging out with this person considerably next month. So, so stay tuned. Hopefully you meet them this month, but you may have to take action in order to meet that person. So check out an online dating profile. All right, let's see here. Let's pull, let's pull a matchstick. Let's see here. Let's get one from the bottom. I have no idea what any of these say. Okay, it says, have a bath in herbs or essential oils. Oh, I love that. I love, I call them Egyptian baths. And I like getting bath washes from botanicas of like love or whatever and do a spiritual wash or like a saint bath or, um, I love doing that where, where you put, where you put your holy water in in like a bucket and and you wash it from head down you pour it down over you you don't splash it up you don't you want to make sure you pour the water down and so it so it covers you and if you splash it up then 
No, if you pour it down, then you're getting rid of something. If you splash it up, you're, you're getting something. So yes, yeah, so, so have a bath in herbs or essential oils. Do a spiritual bath. Look it up. There's so much fun. You know, maybe do a love bath this month. Oh, I love love baths. You know, get some rose petals. You know, maybe put a cinnamon stick in it. Uh, you know, light a, light a candle and, uh, mm, that sounds so nice. Do a spiritual love bath this month. Oh, I love it. There's all sorts of stuff you can do. I am so happy with that advice. So, all right. Thank you so much for, for joining my monthly reading. And if it resonates, let me know in the comments and, uh, be sure to, to follow and to follow me and subscribe and to comment on this video if you want to hear more and if it resonates. So, so thank you so much for joining and I hope you have a nice day and a nice month. Bye-bye.